Yesterday year actress Mumtaz is currently in Mumbai and is looking forward to make a comeback on screen. The diva in her film career impressed audiences with her performances in films like Khilona, Tere Mere Sapne and Aina. The actress was known for her dancing and histrionics, retired in 1977 when she was at the top of the game. In a recent interview, Mumtaz has opened up about being offered to appear on the dance reality show Dance Diwane, but she didn't like the money they were paying her. Here's what she said. Look, I will be frank. I was the highest paid actress of my time. So if I make a comeback, it should be on a par. So far, I was told Rekha was the highest paid guest on Dance Diwane. She is my junior. She came into cinema after me. So it is only right that I be paid more than Rekha. For the adding, God has given me more than enough. No, this is not about money. But if I make a comeback, I must not be undervalued. By God's grace, I am physically fit and I have a huge repertoire of songs to dance to. If and when I do come back, fans won't be disappointed. Since her retirement from acting, Mumtaz has settled in London with her husband and two daughters. Talking about how people still recognize her in Mumbai, she said, "I am amazed at their memory. People come up to me here in Mumbai on the road and ask for pictures." they want to know why i am not doing any films are baba i can't work for the sake of working the actress did make a comeback in 1990 with andhya opposite prosenjit but the film flopped mumtaz also expressed her desire to return to acting and talked about how heroines need to look good on screen no matter what their age is she said i've lost weight i am now looking better let's face it heroines have to look good on screen no matter what their age Audiences come to see their favorite actors and they want to see them looking good constantly. They don't care if you're unwell or if you're having a family problem. They just want to see their favorite stars looking their best. For more news and updates, stay tuned to E Times.